Naishaw, a developing nation of little significance, tucked away in a remote corner of Asia. It's rather fascinating. What's up everyone, it's your boy Wheezy. Welcome to the Street Fighter 6 Showcase. And how about that new trailer? Listen, I've been playing Street Fighter since I was a kid, but this new game is on another level. We're talking new ways to fight, crazy new game modes, and the most content we've ever seen in Street Fighter. So let's get into the game and get this showcase started with the latest from Street Fighter 6's director, Takayuki Nakayama. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. My name is Takayuki Nakayama, director of Street Fighter VI. As you saw in the beginning of our latest trailer, Street Fighter VI features significant single-player content in the form of World Tour. Today, I'd like to tell you more about World Tour mode. city. You'll be able to create an avatar with a high degree of customization and assume the role of the protagonist joining Buckler Security Services training course. There, you'll meet your coach, Luke, go through basic training and set yeah. off on your adventure. I gotta say, you're photogenic. I'm gonna help him handle this! Yeah. 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 It's during this basic training course that you'll meet Bosch, your rival and classmate. And one of the great things about World Tour is that you'll interact with a slew of unique characters. Gosh, come on, man. So now we're ready to hit the streets. People from various walks of life inhabit the world of Street Fighter, but they all love a good fight. With a single press of a button, you can seamlessly enter a battle with them. Bystanders will also come to see what's going on. Street Fighter VI features the tried and true classic six-button control style, 
but also adds a new four-button modern control style that features three attack strengths and allows you to perform special moves with a single button press. You can perform special moves by pressing a direction and the special move button, which will let you enjoy the tactical side of fighting games. There's also an assist button for performing combos, so use all this as much as you want. The more you battle, the stronger your avatar becomes. Earn experience points through battle to level up your stats such as your vitality. Some fights have specific objectives that can be completed to earn more rewards and items, and add a new wrinkle to combat. You can purchase wearable gear at clothing shops. That gear affects your avatar's appearance and their stats and characteristics as well. The product lineup changes from time to time, so check the stores periodically to see what's for sale. There's also a variety of eateries to visit in the game. Food purchased from these places can restore your vitality, give your stats a temporary boost, and other perks. You can also use these items to give yourself a helping hand during battle. This way. Here. Congrats. From now on, you can tell people you are a student of the great Jamie Show. Once you knock that back and make it official anyway. Just relax. It's not booze. Trust me and take a swig. It's a family-made herbal drink that really boosts your energy. While exploring the city, open up your device to check the various missions you can take on. This mission has you going to Metro City's Chinatown to meet a legendary fighter. Becoming the student of a legendary fighter grants you access to their master action. Some master actions can be used to destroy wooden boxes and barrels or leap to faraway platforms. You'll have plenty of opportunities to use master actions in different ways, but they all consume the drive gauge, so you'll have to be careful how often you use them. When traversing the city, there are enemies that will suddenly attack you. But that's when you can use the World Tour exclusive move, Drive Stall, to slow the flow of time. This will slow down the movements of surrounding enemies, and master actions become more powerful. You can also use this to avoid enemy attacks or strike first to gain the advantage when the battle begins. During battle, opponents will start to glow white. This is when you have an opening to strike during an enemy's weakest point. Landing a normal attack here will trigger what we call pressure time, and you'll do more damage than usual. However, if you can land a special move, it'll take you one step further you'll put them into a stun state. Keep this in mind when battling on the streets.
I'm disappointed in you. When you decide to become a student of a legendary fighter, you can also undertake special missions. Complete those missions to strengthen the bond between you and the master. And you'll open up new stories to learn more about them. You can give the master presents to strengthen your bond with them and also see how they react to your gift. Choosing a master's style lets you use their basic attacks. And using that style in battle lets you accumulate experience points which raises your style level. Level up enough, and you can visit your master to learn new attacks and expand your moveset. In addition to experience points, you can also earn skill points through battles. These can be used by opening up your device and selecting skills. Here you can unlock buffs for your character that can increase their punch or kick strength, maximize their vitality, and more. The drive stall move we just touched upon is also unlocked via skill points. As you can see, in World Tour mode, you can build a character that's unique to you by leveling up your style and skills and customizing your basic and special attacks. During your adventure, you'll obtain flight tickets, which you can use to travel from Metro City to other locations via the world map. If you want to learn all of the styles and moves, you'll have to dedicate some time to find the legendary fighters scattered around the world. And you'll find many of your favorite characters in World Tour. There may be some unexpected appearances, too. Hey, the girl. Don't you worry, my friend. Hospitality is our specialty. <laughs> there are characters steeped in mystery and organizations you may recognize all of which come together to immerse you in the Street Fighter universe. Naishal is a large city that serves as another area to explore in World Tour complete with its own stores that differ from the ones you find in Metro City. In contrast to Metro City's urban landscape, this city has a fairly complex topography, and who you'll meet in this new city will also differ. That's all we have to show you for World Tour Mode this time. We hope that you enjoy not only the battle portion, but the story and creating your own character as well. Found them! Yeah! Look out! Yeah. Uh. Yeah. 
Welcome to the world of Street Fighter! Are you a fighter looking for your next challenge? Or just passing through on your journey? Either way, we're more than happy to have you! Next, we'd like to talk about one of the other main modes in Street Fighter VI, the Battle Hub. In the Battle Hub, players from around the world can get together and have fun playing games and doing other activities. Access the cabinets on the floor to play Battle Hub and extreme battle matches and games at the Game Center. As you saw from the trailer at the beginning of the show, the avatars you create and train in World Tour can also duke it out. Show the world your own personal fighter in avatar battles. We also have a new Fighters Club feature added to Capcom Fighters Network. This will help players get together with friends or like-minded players. Join an already existing club or create one of your own from scratch. Once you've set up the basics of the club, you can also create a customized emblem. Not only that, but you can design your very own club uniforms that all members can wear. If you have a good idea for a club, let the world know about it. We're looking forward to seeing players don their club colors and enjoy the Battle Hub together. If you're all about that Street Fighter life, the Battle Hub is the place to be. This is your fave, Eternity, signing off. See ya! Next up, let's talk about some of the cool stuff we have in Fighting Ground. In the video you see here, we've added a character damage toggle. During battle, fighters' faces, bodies, and clothing will get damaged or dirtied up. This will give fights a more realistic feel. This can also be turned on and off at any time. Real wins. Additionally, sound accessibility options have been improved for Street Fighter VI. There are sound effects that will give you the heads up on the distance between you and your opponent. The height level of attacks, whether an attack hits as a cross-up or not. And also to indicate your remaining gauge. We hope that these options will let you better grasp the situation of your fight. When you first start the game, we've added a tutorial that explains the basics of battle and the combat system.
In addition to classic and modern control types, we've added an offline-only control type where an AI assistance system will perform actions and combos depending on the distance from an opponent or the context of the fight just by pressing an attack button. We call this control type dynamic, and it's recommended for beginner players who are just getting into their first fighting game, casual matches against friends and family, or when you're experimenting with a character for the first time. Don't expect me to be a pushover. Arcade mode is our single player mode, where you'll square off against the computer. <laughs> Yoon, Yang. Been a hot minute since I've seen either of you, but don't worry. I'm doing just fine all on my own. The name's Jamie Show. Go through each character's story and you'll unlock a special illustration after the ending. Arcade mode also features online rankings for your score, so get out there and challenge the world. These illustrations can be viewed again in the gallery. Try to unlock them all. <laughs> if you're not sure which character is the right one for you, check out the character guides. which will teach you about each character's unique traits and how to use their attacks. Each special move comes with a basic tutorial on how to use them, and you can experiment with them yourself by pressing the try button. Yes, just like that. Perform well, and the characters will shower you with praises. Don't forget this moment. Once you've gotten the basics of a character down, head on over to the Combo Trials section. There are basic, intermediate, and advanced combos. And you can also slow down the game's speed by 50% to practice your timing. This is a great way for you to expand your horizons and abilities. When you have a chance to finish this, you've got to take it! Player one, brings it home. In versus mode, you'll find team battles. Play with or against other players or the computer in this mode. You can compete in teams, single elimination, or double style battles. Make sure to turn on your favorite commentator and get ready for some fun with your team. It's KO! Next up is Extreme Battle. This differs from a normal battle because there are special rules or gimmicks on the stage. For example, you can have a battle where the winner is the first to knock down their opponent five times while rampaging bulls run across the stage. Or set up a rule where you have to complete the objectives displayed on your side of the screen first, while random drones show up and have different effects when they're destroyed. This will let you have fun with other players in a party-like setting, so give them a try. Extreme Battle can be played offline or in the Battle Hub, and also in custom rooms, which we'll talk about next. If you want to play with a group of players online, then creating a custom room is the way to go. The four virtual cabinets in the room can be set to one-on-one, -on -one, extreme battle, or training mode. Custom rooms now allow for up to 16 players at a time. We've made great strides to improve the experience compared to previous titles. Here comes a new challenger! Two time! 
お会いいたします。This is a great way for friends to get together and teach combos. Or try out new characters. Here comes a new the always popular ranked match lets players worldwide compete against each other. Fight it out with players at your skill level to earn league points. For Street Fighter VI, in order to burden the player with less stress than before, we've added a new one-time rank down protection feature where you won't lose league points in certain leagues. In addition, we have character-specific and random character ranked matches and ranked match phases which will determine your rank for a period of time. Casual match also returns in Street Fighter VI, where you can play online without any change to your league points. So, what do you think? The team working on Street Fighter VI has been challenging themselves to create a game that's going to become a long-loved Street Fighter title that all players can enjoy. It's only a little bit longer, but we can't wait for everyone to enjoy World Tour, Fighting Ground, and Battle Hub. We hope you look forward to playing Street Fighter VI. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Those new modes look crazy. All right, now let's go to Shuhei Masumoto. Street Fighter VI is producing. Hey, everyone. I'm Shuhei Matsumoto, producer on Street Fighter VI. I'd like to walk everyone through what our plans are for Street Fighter VI once the game releases on June 2nd. A big part of Street Fighter's charm is the cast of characters from around the world that appear in each game. We believe that Street Fighter is where players can take control of unique characters with their own awesome fighting styles. For the players, and for us as well, the appeal of the characters themselves is the most important element of the series. With Street Fighter VI, we're continuing development to deliver new characters to you every year. Today, I'd like to introduce the four fighters for year one. Year one will see the introduction of new characters, Rashid, Aki, Ed, and Akuma. Rashid joins the fight in summer 2023, Aki in autumn 2023, Ed in the winter after the new year, and Akuma in spring 2024. These new year one characters will appear in world tour as well, so you can enjoy delving into their lore. In Battle Hub, we're planning various events and a store to obtain special collaboration items. We can't wait to show you what we have planned. For the 2023 season of the Capcom Pro Tour, Street Fighter VI will be the main game. To commemorate the release of the new game, the Capcom Cup 2023 champion will receive a special $1 million prize package and the total prize pool for Capcom Pro Tour 2023 will be over $2 million. Both modern and classic control types will be allowed in the tournament, so we hope you're all excited for a new season of Capcom Pro Tour. Street Fighter VI is available for pre-order now. And in addition to the regular version, we're also offering other editions that include the year one characters and content. You'll also receive special pre-order bonuses, so please check them out.
Finally, we've created a special demo version of the game, so players can enjoy the first bit of World Tour and some modes and fighting ground. The demo will allow you to create an avatar that can also be used in the main version of the game on the same platform. So, we hope you put in a lot of time with the avatar creation feature and have fun. The PlayStation 4 and 5 versions of the demo will be available after this showcase finishes. Hope you enjoy them. We're creating Street Fighter VI to be the game that revolutionizes the fighting game genre. To this aim, our development team has taken the lead and challenged themselves to realize something amazing. We're now at the point where their hard work has materialized into something we believe everyone will enjoy. And it's coming to you on June 2nd. That's right, you heard it. The Street Fighter VI demo is dropping right now. So create your avatar, explore world tour mode, and start fighting. Thanks for tuning in. Street Fighter VI out June 2nd. Maybe you get to throw hands with your boy Weezy. Peace. <laughs>